Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demo you the latest features of vConnect that has been released for the Azure Stack Technical Preview 1. So this is a browser where I have logged in into the Azure Stack portal as a administrator. Here you can see that I have registered the vConnect resource provider. Using this resource provider, tenants can provision virtual machines on the VMware platform in your private cloud. Let me switch to a browser which in which I have logged in as a tenant. A tenant can create a new VMware virtual machine by clicking on the plus button and navigating to the vConnect group. Here in this group, the list of gallery items denotes the various platforms in which the templates have been created. So I'm clicking on the VMware Windows template and this will present me the blade using which the tenant can enter his details for the new VM that he wants to create. So I'm entering a name, test April 21 VM2. So then he has to select the subscription on which he wants to create the new virtual machine, then the resource group and the location. The location is local by default. Then comes the VM template picker. So using this picker or selector, the tenant can choose using which VM template he wants to create the VM. I'm having only one template that belongs to the Windows platform. So I'm selecting that. Next is the VM size. So these are the VM size configured in the vConnect database. So I'm selecting A0 as the VM size. I'm clicking the create button. So this create button will request the Azure resource manager to deploy the new virtual machine. And then the Azure resource manager also called as ARM, will request the vConnect resource provider to provision this virtual machine. So now the deployment has been successful in the Azure Resource Manager, but it will continue to happen in our vConnect uh, resource provider. So currently the virtual machine is in create requested state. Once the deployment starts in the vConnect RP, the status will change to create in progress and then it will be provisioned for the tenant. After provisioning, he can use all of these features. While the VM is being created, let me take you to the list of virtual machines, vConnect virtual machines that have already been created. So we can click on the browse menu and choose the vConnect virtual machines menu. So here I have listed four virtual machines that are already created one of it is in progress so let me choose the first virtual machine that was created a few days back so you can see that in the vm details page vconnect is showing important details such as ip address computer name os and the size uptime etc and below the essentials bar we see the quota gauges and the cpu utilization graph below this the, so now you can see the screenshot of the virtual machine. Now on the top of the blade, we have a lot of commands that the tenants can use to control the virtual machine state. The power on and off operations are supported now and the shutdown and other operations will be supported in a future release in the coming months. Then since it's a Windows virtual machine, the tenant can click on the connect button to download the RDP file and using the RDP file, he can remote desktop into the virtual machine. I'm entering the password for the virtual machine. So now I can remote desktop into the VM that was created. I'm closing the remote desktop to continue the demo. The next thing is the commands feature. So this commands feature lists all of the custom commands that have been configured by the administrator. The first three 
disk commands are built in into vConnect and the administrator using the admin po admin login he can add more custom commands to this vConnect so that the tenants can use those commands for any of their virtual machines next is the configure button where currently the tenant can reconfigure the VM size but more configuration options will be added in the future release next we have the snapshots feature this button displays the blade where all the snapshots are listed and the user also can create the snap a new snapshot at any point now the snapshot has been created successfully and its list refreshed below the user can also click on the snapshot and click the delete button to delete a particular snapshot now the snapshot has been successfully deleted we also provide the delete option for the vm now that we have covered all of the features currently supported in the vconnect tenant virtual machine blade let's go let's go back to the virtual machine that provision few minutes back so you can see that the status is in the status of the vm is created in progress currently the administrators can open their windows azure pack admin portal to see this deployment in progress so i'm switching to the windows azure pack admin portal so here in this vconnect deployments tab you can see that the deployment of the new virtual machine is in progress and it's currently in the customized VM state. In the coming months, we'll be porting these admin operations in the deployment tab to the Azure Stack admin login as well, so that you don't have to switch to the Windows Azure Pack for admin operations. With this, I conclude this demo. Thank you for watching.